Be me. Be Falkreath Guard. New guy visits town. Suddenly a dragon attacks. Everyone in town starts attacking it. Even the new guy. New guy starts shooting a fire spell out of his hands. I walk in front of him. He hits me with his flames. Oh no you didn't, Doug F. Don't fuck with the guards. Stop worrying about the dragon. The new guy is clearly the main threat. Everyone starts attacking the new guy. He's trying to fight both the dragon and everyone else. He can't take us all. He finally dies. People start celebrating. Dragon kills us all. Worth it. Boot up Skyrim again. This time I'm going to actually make a character. I know which skills I'll focus on, which guild I'll join. It's going to be super fun. Start character. Accidentally level up skills you don't want. Leveling skills you do want takes forever. Bin Yorf conj you into joining the Thieves Guild. Advance a little so you can get that quest out of your log. Accidentally start a quest because you picked up a random book in a dungeon. Where did this dog come from and why is he immortal? Become an apprentice mage just to get into the college so you can advance the main quest. Join the companions because you want to become a werewolf. Random NPC is following you because you downloaded some mod you forgot about. (laughs) 300 hours later. No trace of your original character anywhere in sight. You have become Jack. Master of all trades. Leader of every guild. Killer of everything. Shut game off. Repeat next year. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. Funny thing is that I used my spells to steal his soul and entrap his soul into his father's boots that I stolen from the father and snuck the boots back to him. So now every time I see his father, he is literally walking all over his son's trapped and fully conscious soul. Oh God, that is brutal. Be honest with you, see the kids in Skyrim, they knew good stuff. <laughs> they really do, like be honest with you, they really do. That's the thing. There's so many fucking mods, there's no way not to make it the game you want. I autistically loved stalker mods, so I guess it's just up my alley. Install combat mod where even in good armour, if you get caught off guard, you get fucked. Add hunger. Hypothermia. Exhaustion. Actually viable horses with inventory. Armours. Fix characters looking like failed abortions. (laughs) Sound overhaul. Cloaks. All your equipped weapons are displayed on your character. Proper storms, darker nights. If too cold or dark, you set up a camp or go to a nearby inn. Actually hunt wildlife for food. Dragons are actually fucking hell to beat. But now you can turn dragon souls into perks of shite bonuses. Follower mod allows you to get a four member party and gear them properly to hunt down dragons as the dragonborn guild or some shit. You ride around in your horses fighting enemies. Mods can make the game be fucking amazing. Or you can make lollies. <laughs> Before HRT, after HRT. Trans, get in here. Show me your HRT before and afters. Pick related. My progress so far. I'd have chosen a species before <laughs> gender. Oh god. Be gone, elf. The Aldermary Dominion have no place here. Skyrim belongs to the Nords. <laughs> Random guy in shit tier iron armour shows up one day saying a dragon is burning down his city. Don't know why the guards let him in. Figure I can throw another body at my court wizard so I shuffle him over. Comes back with arrows sticking out of his body and holding the tablet out for my court wizard like it's nothing. Here reports someone killed literally every bandit, rat, wolf and rabbit between here and the spot he was sent. I now need to get this pain immune lunatic murderer out of my city. Dragon shows up. Oh, thank the gods. Send the guy out on a suicide mission to kill a dragon. End of my worries. He comes back, apparently having killed the dragon and eaten its soul. According to reports, just stood there and let the dragon burn him while chugging addictive and dangerous health potions he made himself. Now standing in front of me, eating an entire bushel of apples, two loaves of bread, an entire side of beef while everyone looks on in horror and disgust. Need to get him away from my children as fast as possible. Tell him he needs to climb the tallest mountain in Skyrim and stay with the Greybeards. He leaves without a word. Hopefully that's the last I'll see of him. Be level one bandit. Drinking some mead by the fire guarding my rundown tower. See Dragonborn. Thane in every major city. 
killer of dragons. Sporting all Daedric armor and a two-handed dragonbone sword with double enchantment on both, has literally summoned a dragon to help him fight. Has two followers in similar garb. Shite. Never should have come here. And charge him. Get killed to death by everything forever. <laughs> Heard about this sweet ass glitch in the tutorial of the game. Learn you can attack Hardvar for massive skill gains. Or however your spell is named. Spend two hours maxing out one handed, two handed, stealth and destruction skills. Fuck ya, yeah, gonna kick Skyrim's ass. Finish the tutorial. Out of the cave, attack Hardvar out of habit. He turns to fight me. Oh shit, fight him. Win. He can't die, only be stopped temporarily. He resumes attacking me after a minute. Can't kill him. Run all the way to Riverwood. Think I'm safe. Go to do the first mission. He's there. He attacks me, along with everyone in Riverwood. Now, have unstoppable Hardvar assassin hunting me down. Follows me everywhere, attacking me. Check save files. Didn't save. Hardvar owns all. <laughs> my face went. <laughs> I devoted my entire life to the voice. Have to live in some boring ass temple on the top of cold ass shit mountain. Live off of salted fish. No running water, everyone smells like shit. Nobody else can talk, fucking bullshit. Dozens of years pass. The fucking dragonborn comes to save the world. Comes into the monastery and immediately steals all of our potions and food. Pickpockets all my shit. I try my best to teach him the ways of the voice. Practices his thumb on my priceless antique vases. Blasts me off the mountain every time I go outside. I am cursed with undeath and break many bones on the way down. Have to walk my 500 year old ass back up the 7,000 steps with broken legs. My face went. So, speaking of random, I was just leaning against the counter at my shop, enjoying a quiet morning and selling a few odds and ends to the local folk, when through the door walks this massive guy, looking like a Daedra carrying the biggest hammer I've ever seen. Nervously I told him, Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Hoping I wouldn't end up meeting the business end of this hammer. He looked at me dead in the eyes and asked, What items do you have for sale? Bodies still as a rock. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that is all I could summon. So then he hands me no less than 20 sets of bonded iron armour. 23 iron shields, 12 ancient Nord axes and a fucking hargrave and feather. Takes all but one of my septums and runs out the door. What the fuck, right? I fucking hate Skyrim for this, ever since I discovered Sex Lab. Defeat and Sanguine's debauchery. It has ruined my experience with the game. Download game. Spend 10 hours downloading cool mods. Spend 10 more hours building character up. Realize I'd like to see my lolly elf character get fucked. Oh, Jesus Christ. Spend five hours downloading and installing sex mods. Play ten minutes. Get raped. Come. Get ashamed <laughs> of self. Uninstall game and go to sleep. Start downloading the game again. I've done this entire process at least 20 times. I'm not even joking. <laughs> what the fuck? Installed nude mod for Skyrim. Including a sex mod. Didn't play Skyrim for six months. Come back to play it, get arrested in Whiterun. An option appears. There's another way I can pay you. Might have been added in an update. Click on it. My male character gets naked and so does the guard. They fuck and make noises on my screen. Volume is on max. Mom comes in. She sees two hairy men fucking on my screen. Oh god, why? <laughs> Banned from the PC for two months and I need to visit a therapist every week. <laughs> Look, if you had one shite or one opportunity to let every- oh wait, is this Eminem? <laughs> <laughs> Playing Skyrim. Choose a female character. Make a cute Nord Barbarian lolly. Dad walks in and says, why are you playing as a little girl? Think of a lie and say, I'm forced to play as one. He says, no you're not, your uncle has this game and he's able to play as a man. Well, I thought it would be fun to play as a little girl killing stuff. Dad gives me a funny look. You ain't getting fruity on me, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I start to laugh and say, no sir. He decides to just leave. Make the decision to never tell him I'm bisexual. Worst luck you ever had in Elder Scrolls. 
My boyfriend would rather play Skyrim on his computer all day than have sex with me. I thought robots were supposed to be ecstatic to have a girlfriend. Maybe your asshole stinks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At school. Here announcement. Magic show after lunch. Oh yeah, I like magic. Waiting all day to see show. It's finally time. Dude shows cool shit. Looks for volunteers. Picks me. Oh shit, dot webm. Ask me to close my eyes. Okay. Feel change. What the duck? Now I'm lying down. Open my eyes. In a wagon. Hey, you were trying to cross the border. Todd Hard. You did it again. <laughs> Okay, guys, I know most of these posts are not from B, most of them are from V or other general boards. There was some poll ones, to be honest with you. But, like, I thought they were really funny, and we haven't done anything like this in a long time. I can't remember the last time I did a green text compilation video. It's been a long time, and, you know, I thought, you know what, fuck it, it's been a while, let's do it, you know. If you guys have any ideas for any other videos like this, I quite like doing them. They're a wee bit different, you know. I like to mix it up from time to time. There's a few other themes, like, you know, themed ones. If you guys like this one, let us know down below, and we might do an Oblivion one, because... I know a lot of you guys love Skyrim, but for me, it's all about Oblivion. I'm, I'm just in that age group where... You know, Oblivion was, like, everything to me whenever I was, like, at that perfect age for it, you know what I mean? But, like, as always, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, like, subscribe, all that other good shit, and we'll see you in the next video. All those moments we lost.